Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to solve systems of equation by elimination and substitution with two variables. So the previous video that I have uploaded uh, this week are all about algebra basics so this topic is still under algebra basics so we have here this problem x plus 5y equals 5 and 4x minus 5y equals 25 and we need to solve for x and y okay so we'll use elimination so if we add these two equations yung 5y and negative 5y will uh, be eliminated okay so 5y plus negative 5y so that is 0 so, mawawala yung y variable natin uh, so that we can solve for our x variable. So, x plus 4x, that is 5x. 5y minus 5y, so that is 0. Okay? Equal. So, 5 plus 25, that is 30. So, 5x equals 30. And we divide both sides by 5 to eliminate this coefficient. So, x equals. So, that is 6. Then, you will choose... Uh, either first equation or second equation to solve for y. So you have already uh, known the value of x that is 6. So let's proceed to first equation. So using the first equation so you can uh, either use the first or second equation. So it's up to you guys. So let's uh, solve or let's try the first equation. So x plus 5y equals 5 and since x is 6 just substitute that. So this is an elimination uh, with a substitution process problem so x is 6 plus 5y equals 5 so we have here uh, 5y equals so subtract 6 both sides this becomes 5 minus 6 and we have here 5y equals so 5 minus 6 is negative 1 then divide both sides by 5 all right so this becomes y equals negative 1 fifth so these are the values of x and y so let's proceed to our next problem so we have this problem guys uh, 3x minus 8y equals 15 and we have 2x minus 8y equals 10 so same concept we need to eliminate a variable so uh, 3x and 2x cannot be eliminated easily because they are not uh, of the same coefficient okay so etong uh, negative 8y, we have here common siya. Diba dito sa second equation natin. So, we can actually subtract this 2. So, since parehas, we can subtract. Kapag pa, uh, magkaiba yung sign, uh, we can add. Okay, ito subtract naman siya. So, negative 8y minus uh, negative 8y. So, that is 0. So, 3x minus 2x. So, that is x. So, negative 8y minus negative 8y. That is 0. Okay, equal. So, 15 minus 10 so that is 5 so therefore x equals 5 then we can substitute this x uh, to either first or second equation so let's use the first equation so 3x minus 8y equals 15 okay so x is 5 uh, that becomes 3 times 5 minus 8y equals 15 and we have this uh, 15 okay minus 8y Okay, that is equal to uh, 15. And if we subtract 15 to both sides, it becomes 8y equals 15 minus 15. And so negative 8y equals 0. So divide both sides by negative 8. So y is 0. Okay, so we can say that y equals 0. So x is 5 and y is 0. And we have this next problem. So we have 2x minus y equals 12 and x minus 4y equals 13. So in this problem, guys, you can see that there are no uh, variables, okay, same variables with same coefficient. So we cannot actually uh, eliminate easily. Okay, so in order for you to have, so we have here 2x. And so in order for you to have a 2x in this uh, second equation okay you need to multiply 2 
okay, to both sides of the equation. Okay, so this becomes 2x, okay, 2 times x, 2x, 2 times negative 4y, negative 8y, and we have here 13 times 2, that is 26. Okay, so the equations are 2x minus y equals 12, and we have 2x minus 8y equals 26. So here, we can first solve for y. Since if we subtract these two equations, 2x and 2x here will cancel out. So 2x minus 2x, that is 0. So negative y minus negative 8y. So that becomes uh, negative 8 plus 8y. So that is uh, 7y, positive 7y. So negative y minus negative 8y. So this becomes negative y plus 8y. So 8y minus y. So that is 7y positive. So you have here 12 minus, you have here 26. Okay, so that becomes a negative, okay, negative 14. Okay, so 12 minus 26 is negative 14. So we have here 7y equals negative 14. So we divide both sides by 7. Okay, so uh, we can solve for y as that is negative 2. Okay, y is negative 2. So, using either first or second equation, we can solve for x. So, let's use the first equation. So, 2x minus y equals 12 and y is negative 2. So, 2x minus, so y is negative 2 equals 12. So, 2x minus, okay, negative times negative positive plus 2 siya dito. So, equals 12, okay. Then, subtract 2 to both sides of the equation. So, 2x equals 12 minus 2 so 2x is just equal to 10 so therefore we have here 2x equals 10 and divide both sides by 2 this gives you x as 5 okay so this is the final answer so x is 5 and y is negative 2 so let's proceed to our next problem so y is equal to 3x plus 4 and we have here y is equal to 2x minus 1. Okay, so uh, let's just substitute this uh, first value of y. Okay, yung y dito sa second equation. So that becomes 3x plus 4 equals 2x minus 1. So solve for x. So 3x. Okay, transpose lang natin si 2x sa left side. That becomes negative 2x. And si 4, lipat natin dito sa right side so basically you just subtract a uh, 4 to both sides and subtract negative or subtract 2x to both sides so uh, we have the shortcut transposition and we have negative 1 minus 4 Ayan, pinagpalit lang natin so that we can combine like terms so 3x minus 2x that is x and we have here negative 1 minus 4 that is negative 5 so therefore x is negative 5 so, in order for you to compute for uh, y or solve for the value of y, we need to uh, use the first or second equation. So, let's just use the first equation. So, that is y equals 3x plus 4, okay? And we have here uh, y equals 3 times, so x is negative 5 uh, plus 4, okay? So, y is, so 3 times negative 5, that is negative 15, so, plus 4 and y is negative 11. Okay, so y is negative 11 and we have uh, x as negative 5. Okay, so let's proceed to our next problem. So, we have here 4x plus 5y equals 1 and we have 3x plus 9y equals 10. Okay, so we need to compute for uh, x and y. Okay, so you can use substitution, you can also use elimination. So, let's try substitution. Okay, so using this first equation, okay, so we can say that uh, 5y okay, equals, so that is 1 minus 4x. So, ito si 4x, ilipat natin sa kabila. Okay, so we can say that uh, y equals, so divide both sides by 5. So, equals 1 minus 4x over 5. So, this becomes y equals 1 minus 4x over 5. 
Then, ito si y, okay? We just substitute that here, okay? In this uh, equation. Okay, second equation. So, 3x plus 9 times y. y is 1 minus 4x over 5, okay? Equals 10. So, we have that uh, value. Then, in order for us to eliminate this 5 here, we need to multiply both sides by 5. Okay? Multiply natin both sides by 5. So, this becomes 5 times 3x. So, that is 15x. And 5 times this uh, expression. So, basically, 5 will just cancel out here sa ating denominator. So, this becomes plus 9 times 1 minus 4x. And equal, so this is 5 times 10, that is 50. Okay? We have here 15x, uh, positive 9 times 1, so that is positive 9. Positive 9 times negative 4x, that is negative 36x. And we have here equals 50. So 15x minus 36x, that is negative 21x. Okay? Plus 9 equals 50. So we have here negative 21x equals, so this is 50 minus 9. Okay, transpose natin si 9 dito. And we have here negative 21x, so this is just equal to, we have here 41. Okay, so uh, we just uh, compute for the values of uh, x. So negative 21x is equal to 41. Okay, divide both sides by negative 21. So, negative 21x divided by negative 21 equals 41 over negative 21. So, we have the value of x as negative 41 over 21. So, this is now the final value of x since we cannot uh, express this in lowest term. Okay, so we have the value of y if we substitute that value of x to any of these two equations. So let's try to use equation 1. So that is 4x plus 5y equals 1. Okay, so 4x plus 5y equals 1. Okay, substitute natin yung value ng x. So that is 4 times negative 41 over 21. Okay, plus 5y equals 1. Okay, so this becomes, uh, we have here uh, 5y. So we have here 5y equals 1 minus this value. So transpose natin siya sa right side. So this becomes 4 times negative 41 over 21. So we have this value. So uh, we can simplify this as y equals, so divide both sides by 5. So this becomes 1 minus 4. Uh, times negative 41 over 21 over 5. So y equals, we have here 1, and negative 4 times negative 41, that is positive. So 41 times 4, that is 4 times 1, 4, 4 times 4, 16. So 164, so plus 164 over 21 over 5, okay? So simplify pa natin guys, this becomes, so itong 1 can be expressed as, Para maging same denominator siya, this becomes 21 over 21. So that is just 1 plus 164 over 21 all over 5. Okay? So this becomes y equals. So 21 add natin kasi parehas na yung denominator niya. So this becomes so 21 plus 164. Okay? 164 plus 21. So 5, 8, and this is 1. So 185. So 185. Okay, all over 21, okay, all over 21, all over 5. So simplify further, okay, so we have here 185, so 21, so multiply tayo ng 21 to both sides, okay, so 5 times 21, okay, so this eliminates this, okay, denominator sa ating uh, numerator. So this becomes y equals 185 over 5 times uh, 21. Okay, divide natin yung 185. Okay, so 5. And this becomes, we have here 3. So, 3 times 5, 15. And we have here 8, 18 minus 15. So, that is
you have here 3. Bring down 5 and this is 7. So 7 times 5, 35 minus 35. So that is 0. So we have here 37. Okay, so this is 37 over 21. Okay, so this is the value of our y. Okay, so 37 over 21. So this is the final answers for this problem. Okay, so that's it for today's video guys and I hope that you have learned from this video. If you are new to this channel, just click the subscribe button and the notification bell para ma-notify kayo guys sa mga future math uploads natin. Thank you for watching this video and once again, this is Engineer Prof. PH. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And guys, so yun yung mga social media accounts ko. Ang pangalan ay Engineer Prof. PH pa rin. So thank you guys. Sobrang solid nyo. Almost 60k na tayo. And sa 60k subscriber, I will be giving away uh, my official merchandise. Okay, so uh, abangan nyo guys yung mga event namin sa Engineer Prof. PH. Just visit our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Thank you guys for watching this video and see you on my next video. Bye-bye!